Have you ever tried creating planets in Blender and ended up with results looking like this? Planets might seem like the most basic thing you can do in 3D. Just add a sphere, slap a texture on it, and you're good to go. But the reality is far from that. Pretty far in fact that when I started digging into the topic, I found out how little information is there about actually how to create good looking planets. The majority of videos out there teach variation of the same technique by relying heavily on compositing. Not that there is something wrong about that, but I think that in order to create a realistic looking planet, you need to try and make it as physically accurate as possible. And that's exactly what this course is trying to do. In this course, you will learn how to create a photorealistic Earth in Blender. 100% pure Blender magic. These are the results you will get straight out of rendering with no compositing. This mini course can be divided into three big sections. You will start by learning how to set up your scene. Forget the common misconception of using simple spheres and point lights when it comes to creating planets. Instead, I'll guide you through the proper scene setup and light techniques to unleash your full power when it comes to creating planets. Then we will move on to texturing our planet. Texture work is often where planetary renders fall short. That's why a substantial portion of this course will dive deep into the world of shading. You will learn how to create flawless shaders for your planet's surface, clouds, and most importantly, the atmosphere. And you know how complicated is that if you ever attempted to create a realistic planet in Blender. We will dive deep into the world of nodes and procedural workflows, and you will learn techniques that will take your texturing level to new heights. Lastly, we will finish by rendering and doing some really small compositing. Rendering planets isn't like rendering any other scene. This course will give you the things that you need to keep in mind when it comes to setting up your scene for rendering. And by the end of the course, you will be well versed when it comes to optimizing your planet's renders. And we will also do a little bit of compositing just to take your renders to the next level and make your planets shine at a required level. I try my best to explain everything in detail, but I'm expecting you at least to know your way around Blender. Um, at least how to connect pipes. Lastly, this course will give you the exact way on how you can create really stunning planets in Blender. If all of that sounds exciting for you, we can't wait to welcome you inside the course. See you inside and happy blending.